Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I am going to do my Birch Box unboxing. Yes. Oh, it's like a little shelf unit. Oh, it's all coming out. Okay, guys, so this month's Birch Box is super, super cute. It's super small, so this is going to be a short video. Okay, first of all, I love this. It's like a little, like, storage drawer. <laughs> I don't know why. I love that though okay so this is everything that you get in your box it says it's easier to prevent dry skin than fix it so change your nighttime skincare routine if you wake up with dry skin fair enough that is true and by the way i love the neon yellow in here like how fun like they're just not, they don't care that it's winter doesn't matter to birch box okay so the first thing i see in here is butanique beauty Buten IQ Beauty? I don't know. Anyways, this says it is a butter lip and cheek balm in mauve lychee, lychee, however you want to say it. It is a cruelty-free and vegan brand, so I love that, or product at least. And this does say it is a full size and it is $16. So I'm not going to open it. It is wrapped in plastic wrap right now, but I will, you know what, I will open it. Ooh actually looks like a super nice color like a very universal color not too light not too dark but since it's a balm I'm assuming yeah it is a really really lightweight product I'm just gonna build it up a little bit here so you guys can actually see the color that is gorgeous don't mind the lip swatch that is from a ipsy video but or an ipsy video Excuse my grammar. Anyways, this looks really nice. Then I have the Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm from Touch and Soul. I do have a full size of this, so I am kind of excited to have a little sample size so I can try out the sample first because if I don't like the sample, I'll just get rid of the full size. Okay, that one obviously doesn't have a price because it's a sample. This is from Malin and Goetz. Goats? G O E T Z. This is the Revitalizing Eye Gel, and I believe I have gotten one of these before. Um, I believe this is a vegan and cruelty-free. This does say cruelty-free, it does not say vegan on it. So good on you, Birchbox, for picking more items that are cruelty-free and vegan. This is teeny. It's teeny tiny. There's my pinky. It's teeny. Okay. Okay. It's a baby size. Okay, and then we have something from TLW. No idea what that stands for. This is the Frizz Fighter in Let's Get Naked, maybe? It says, use before your blow dry to create an unbreathable... Nope. To create a breathable protective barrier against heat. Use frequently to help retain natural sheen and strength. Fights hair... Fights frizzy hair by sealing the ends so I don't blow dry my hair you guys know that but I'll probably use this as a serum for my hair maybe I'll just use it at my ends we shall see and the very last thing right we're already at the end it's been like a minute this is the IPKN moist and firm BB cream in the shade light this does say made in Korea so probably not vegan or cruelty free. And there is a safety seal on here, which makes me really happy. So I'm actually gonna wait to open this until I'm ready to use it. I have quite a few little mini samples that I'm working through right now. I'm actually wearing a mini sample right now of the Hourglass Vanish, not stick, but the liquid one. Um, so yeah, definitely I go through these and I love these. So that was it. That was literally all she wrote for Birchbox. This is why I'm canceling. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I realize I'm spending so much money on beauty boxes lately and I don't even get through all the products. And everybody's like, for instance, the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. Everybody freaking loves that primer and I still have yet to try it because I have so much other stuff. So I am putting a hold on a lot of my makeup boxes and beauty boxes that I've been getting in the mail, subscription boxes, and I'm going to kind of just get to know my collection a little bit better, get to know myself a little bit better, what I like, what I don't like, which at this point I kind of already know, but there are a lot of new products that I haven't tried yet, so 
I'm looking forward to doing that and getting less of this kind of stuff, which by the way, I'm a dummy. <laughs> and I bought the annual subscription for this. So I will be getting these until September. I tried to get, get them to stop, but they refused to because I bought the annual subscription. It's a great day. Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this kind of rather sad unboxing, but I kind of got a chance to talk to you guys and tell you that I'm canceling most of my subscription boxes, which I'm really excited. I'm gonna be saving over $100 a month, not even saving, but like not spending that. And I'm actually going to be putting $100 a month, starting February, in a bin, and then we're gonna go on vacation at Christmas time. That is the plan because we'll have $1,100 by then and uh, that's my plan. That's what I'm doing and that's what I'm sticking to. What do you like? What do you like? What do you like? <laughs> Anyways, I am going to go before I start getting crazy. I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye.